WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. Currently have a sea of red out there. The only thing trading to the upside is a spot ball until next up 19%. That's an important thing to be paying attention to come day's end. You've got Microsoft up 51 cents. Uh, Facebook is up a buck 40. U.S. dollar index is up just slightly. Other than that, everything else is trading to the downside. Dow's out 483 points, one and four tenths, one and three tenths for the S&P, or 60 points, one and four tenths for the NASDAQ, 216 and two and a half percent for the Russell. It's a 47 percent move, 47 percent, 47 point move. Two and three tenths percent for the semis. That's an 84 point move there. Gold's off 13 bucks, silver down 55 cents. Lights recruit off 79 cents. Natural gas off two pennies. Lights recruit. The I'm sorry, the 30-year Treasury off uh, one point and 11 ticks, trading out at 123.29. Let's take a look at that nine-panel market update chart. Now, the first thing that we'll notice here is there is a new profile attempting to form. It has shifted a couple of different times. We will not have confirmation of this until this evening. But right now, what we can say is that you do have buyers that are lined up between 43.94 and 44.07. Spot volatilics is now well above its 50-day exponential moving average of 50 days at 15.59. Price right now at 16.89. You close above the 50-day, that usually provides sellers with an edge. I say usually because the spot volatilics is up over 10%. One-day rate of change above 10% suggests looking for some type of bounce or bottom overnight. If you take a look at the NQ, the NQ is consolidating with inside its daily profile. U.S. dollar index has a sell the D point pattern. That sell the D point pattern or regardless of sell pattern will get negated with a close above 103.23 where 103.09 right now. Gold has, I believe it's a TD9 count bottom out there. and Price has resistance at the bottom of its profile, daily profile that is 1925.60. Silver consolidation with inside its profile it has a road momentum indicator bottom. Price getting back and testing support and support is a zone. That zone is 22.55 to 22.77. Lights we crude. Just um, trading up to its resistance level. The resistance level here happens to be the bottom of the weekly profile. That's at 72.59. The actual high so far today has been 72.34. Natural gas still may have, although the C point would have changed because we have a little bit lower low, but price is pulling back into its bullish structured profile level. That buy zone between 255 and 261. The 30 year treasury about to test its swing point from back in March. That's at the level 123.12. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.